Finding movement. We tend to be bound uh, by our own natural movements when we speak. And if you watch my videos, which I have hundreds online, you'll see that I do tend to have the same mannerisms. And you look at public speakers and they have the same mannerisms. But there are possibilities for breaking out of those mannerisms in a way that's kind of fun and productive. So in this video, we'll talk about that. Movement. Yeah, everybody's different when it comes to making a presentation. Some people are very active, they're walking around and they're using their hands. Others are calmer or more circumspect in their movements. They hold themselves close, uh, as you'll see in many of my videos that I do. Sometimes I'm a little bit more animated. And again, it's always having the form fit the content. Content fit the form so that if it is something that's quiet and intimate, you might be a little bit more still. And if it's a bigger audience and it's a little more dynamic and exciting, you use your body. But how can we develop those different ways of using our body? One fun exercise that I use with my acting students, my acting clients, is animal exercises. Finding an animal out there that you identify with or an animal that you would love to emulate in terms of maybe their power or their movement or their curiosity and then transferring that movement to the way that you move, imitating it, feeling it in your body. Perhaps you want to have the power of a lion. What's really interesting is in Googling uh, some pictures before this, uh, some videos to look at. One of the lions that uh, I saw was roaring. Actually, there were two lions together. They were roaring. And it was so interesting to watch their diaphragms, their bellies compressing each time they yelled. But they were using their diaphragms, which is very helpful when it comes to speaking, using your diaphragms. Uh, but the movement that they had was so interesting, right? That stillness, that kind of centeredness in their chest, the way that their whole body moved, that regal quality to it. And you could use this at the next party you go to, feeling like you're a lion walking in there with that power. Or the gorilla, a gorilla beating on its chest, the way that that chest expands, the way that its body moves, or perhaps a gorilla in nature just sitting still in that kind of very gentle movement they have where everything is loose. And being loose can be so helpful when it comes to talking, presenting, or being under pressure. Or maybe it's as simple as your little kitty cat. Well, I guess that relates to the lion. But a kitty cat who is smooth and silky and just sits back relaxing, enjoying itself. Everything is smooth when it moves, except when it strikes. So looking at animals as a way of imitating them, finding where their centers are, how they move, where their power center is, can be so helpful because it opens up your imagination. If you're an actor, definitely. But even if you're just someone who wants to work on the way that they present themselves, it doesn't have to be just, I stand up tall, I stand up straight. No, it can be imaginative and have a power center where you feel this. Now, nobody else has to know this, but you feel this kind of energy coming from you because you've studied that animal. And in your mind's eye and in your imagination, you're using that animal as you speak. Pick an animal. See which one might be really interesting to you to emulate to mimic and see how that works when you try that in public. Maybe you're, again, at a party or a presentation, but you feel that energize you. Let us know how it works. I'm Patrick Munoz. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel.